Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at simplifying expressions with logarithms. So we have, write the following expression as a single logarithm and we're looking at log base a of x plus 2 times log base a of y minus 3 times log base a of z. So to answer this problem we're going to consult the following log properties where we have an addition, subtraction, and exponent property of logs. But to use these properties, this part is critical. The logs need to have the same base. So notice how each of these logs have a base of A. So that means we can use these properties. But when students do these problems, sometimes they'll have trouble as to which property to use first. So what I like to do is think back to Dear Aunt Sally. Order of operations, we write down PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, this tells us to do parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. That's the order we're going to carry out these operations, and that's the order in which I like to carry out these log properties. So the first one I want to use that's going to come in the list is the exponent property of logs. Then we want to use the addition property of logs and subtraction, because notice in this problem, those are the three that we could use. So now we use the exponent property. Remember, when we have a number written outside of our log, we can send it back into the log as an exponent. So for these two pieces here, we have a 2 outside of this log, and we have a 3 outside of this log. So for the next line, we could send this 2 back in as an exponent of y. We could send this 3 back in as an exponent of z. So we're going to rewrite the first piece. We have log base a of x plus, and now we want to send this 2 back in using the exponent log property. So we have log base a of y to the second power. And now we have minus, we're going to send this 3 back in as an exponent of z, so we have log base a of z to the third power. So notice all we did from this line to the next was use the exponent of logs property twice to the second piece and the third piece. That 2 went back in as an exponent of y, this 3 went back in as an exponent of z. So now to the next line, we want to use the addition property of logs. We want to use that one next. Notice they have the same base, so we could carry forward and use that property. So to use the addition of log property, we note that the way that they combine into a single log expression is all we need to do is multiply the inner terms. Notice how the inner term of this log is a b, the inner term of this log is a c, and the final result is log base a of b times c. So we combine these two pieces here into log base a, and now we're going to multiply the, the first inner term x times the second inner term y squared. And we just attach the rest, minus log base a of z to the third power. So now we have one operation connecting them now. All we have left is to use the subtraction property. So to combine two logs with the same base attached by subtraction, we could set up a fraction inside of a single log. So the numerator of the fraction is the inner term of the first log, and the denominator of the fraction is the inner term of the second log. So we can combine this into a single log expression now as log base a, and now our fraction has a numerator of x times y squared, and the denominator is z to the third. Notice how this term being subtracted, the inner term is a c, and it winds up in the denominator. So we have z to the third. So this would be our final answer to the problem. Write the following expression as a single logarithm. We have log base a of x plus 2 times log base a of y minus 3 times log base a of z simplifies to log base a of x times y squared divided by z to the third power. Okay, well this is going to conclude this properties of logarithms problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video was helpful.